Hi Capricorn, um, this is your weekly for the um, 18th till the 24th. I'm using all the decks from Co uh, Collet Baron Reed and I will go into them extensively and so it will be quite a nice video. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love the idea of putting all the decks that uh, by from one author together and we'll see what kind of energy we'll get from this reading. Uh, if you're new, welcome to the channel and uh, please subscribe and hit the bell on all and um, uh, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading then uh, please uh, look at below the video and you can find all the information or click on this little circle and you can will be taken to the website I thought it would be nice uh, to go into depth of the oracle cards instead of tarot and oracle cards have a look at your seven month forecast or rather the energies that will be present in the coming seven months I've just made all of them this week um, just an update on the yearly and I hope you enjoy them now I think it's some um, I also am doing this this way to show people that it's the energy that is around you to be more conscious of the energy that is or could be around you and you can take more things from just one card with you the message might not resonate with you so um, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign we start off Capricorn with the squirrel spirit and I hope you do like uh, the combination that I've chosen believe in yourself and that I'll show the pictures and what I mean by more information I better put the candles away because otherwise the ca cards might get burnt okay uh, so I'm using the red a candle for grounding that's the root chakra the green candle for uh, the heart chakra and the purple card uh, the candle which is turned white for the spiritual now in the cards you can uh, you can see the card you can it's beautiful daylight here so that's why you can see the cards much more clearly and believe in yourself is the message from the squirrel spirit but we've also got number 57 7 and 5 is 12 and 12 becomes a 3 so there is creativity and yes the squirrel is creative because he gathers nuts and he hoards them so you might be hoarding at the moment and, uh, and uh, you might be um, hoarding to be ready for the winter okay you might want to keep a reserve <coughs> for when you need it perhaps for Christmas presents and he hides what he hoards he hides or what the nuts that he gathers he hides them so you won't you play in other wor words you might be um, cl uh, playing your cards close to your chest so that everybody will be surprised and how much you've saved for Christmas or for a special event that's the message that I'm getting from the squirrel and also that you will be active the coming week and the oracle message you have accumulated wisdom and experience and are surrounded by all you need an abundance of resources is available to you through the generosity of spirit and all your hard work squirrel spirit shows up when you need reminding that the acorns you have gathered and stowed away have enormous potential to grow so relax into knowing there is always enough and you have what it takes to co-create the reality you want to experience through diligent preparation you have gained wisdom and strength how much potential you have 
believe in yourself for spirit believes in you and wants you to know you have enough and are enough doesn't that truth make you feel safe and secure it should for you have everything you need right now now call it Darren Reed usually gives a couple of messages um, in this book she only <coughs> gives one two messages and that was the oracle message the protection message to protect yourself and you can use that when you meditate or sit down and contemplate quietly is the unpredictability of life can shake your confidence in yourself your potential for handling the challenges that come your way does the does the thought of not having enough or being enough make you squirrely? Have you forgotten all your strengths, wisdoms and resources? You've come so far on your wits and creativity and like I said it's number 12 which becomes a 3 and that's creativeness. Making use of all your potential and all that spirit prese presence presents you to help you through life's trying times it's time to look back on your life and remember how your needs have always been met for the highest good even in your most challenging times life loves you and so many treasures are hidden in plain sight ready to be revealed when you most need them so relax squirrel spirit wants you to know you are poised and ready for whatever is coming next so trust in yourself and trust that spirit has your back wonderful <coughs> excuse me I've got this cold and it will not go away now we're going on to the wisdom of the hidden realms and you've got the diamond dreamer you uh, you do dream everybody dreams material wealth and true prosperity well that co coincides very nicely <coughs> sorry with the squirrel okay I'm just going to um, stop the video hold on now you've got the diamond diamond dreamer so uh, it says material wealth true prosperity and with the squirrel it says that there is always enough so there is lots more coming your way you've got number six so you are in balance just look at the card and it looks like an angel is blowing a kiss towards you now this is the ally when the diamond dreamer arrives he represents the successful manifestation of the unseen into the material be sure you truly want what you think you desire for this ally will commit to getting it for you all manner of conditions will flow around you messages from spirit will serve to guide you toward achieving your heart's desire if you want a house you'll be led to it if your priority is a new job with the right continual steps you will achieve this if you desire a more harmonious relationship the measures needed to create this will be obvious a project finally pays off material gain and positive financial shifts may also be on the way you will indeed see the tangible results of your ambition the diamond dreamer also serves to guide you to the appropriate choices so that the unseen is awakened to move mountains on your behalf positive communication is now possible in all relationships the challenger if you need to be challenged the diamond dreamer challenges you to address your perception of the power of materialism do you focus on material world above all else? Have you become hypnotized by the notion that it's only reality that that's the only reality? 
Have you grown too attached to stuff? Have you come to consider wealth only to be the accumulation of world worldly goods? Now is the time to find value and wealth in the tan intangible spiritual experience before anything is seen, reflected in the manifested world. It originates in the unseen, the spiritual and the divine mind. Be careful what you wish for, because it will be manifested for you may not want to pay the price of keeping it once you've got it. The Diamond Dreamer also reminds you that disappointment and disillusionment are sometimes the way home to the truth of what's best for you. He may be here to tell you that when you don't get what you want, it's being withheld from you because something better is in store. Be compassionate with yourself and others at this time. Let the Diamond Dreamer lead you to the highest dreams of your perfect purpose and true prosperity. That's beautiful. So be careful what you wish for, okay? Because it can bring you out of balance. Now we go to Amazonite, and that's my newest card. I love these cards, and that's the crystals. And you've got two, so you are in balance, or you will be in balance this week. Now you can wear Amazonite because there are color therapists, there are also aroma therapists, and there are also stone therapists or um i forgot the word now but those are uh, gemonologists that's it the gemonologists they work with stones and stones do have energy that can heal and support okay so amazonite it looks a bit like jade but every card every stone has like a, um, a spirit face in them uh, like in some of them it is a buddha and this uh, looks a bit like an Egyptian and if I move the card you can see it's different kinds of purple so spirituality is playing a big part for you this week the essential or uh, essential meaning of the Amazonite is truth revelation the ev evil illusion and natural flow of events now um this card also <coughs> has a relationship message and a prosperity message and a crystal spirit meditation so i'm going to leave it lying here and i'm just going to read for you and let's see what this stone can heal for you this week or where can it support you okay not everything reveals itself right away in full detail. Wouldn't that be nice if it could be done, or if, it, if that was true? Okay. But the consciousness, you, the conscious universe is unfolding a plan for you so much more. Brilliant thing you can imagine. An Amazonite spirit is here to help you trust in the process and flow of re revelation. Some things will be disclosed that may shake you up, but if you, if so, it's all for your highest good. So pay at close attention and go with it. So go with the flow. The conscious universe prefers you to learn your lessons without suffering. So if you allow situations to fluidly evolve instead of trying to control them, you will see that much much wisdom is being made available to you right now the mind body and the conscious universe are interconnected so be attentive to connections you previously overlooked or thought weren't such a big deal they have more insights for you than you might have expected what is unfolding will help you understand your purpose and find your destiny. You don't have to be a victim of fate with your future, defined by repeating lessons learned in the past. 
you are being prepared for something awesome that you are already moving toward. Excitement and trust are in order. Now this is the relationship message that I'm going to do now. Love is sometimes so blind and we see what we want to see. Thus we might need a little nudge from the conscious universe in order to become aware of something bigger on the horizon for us. Maybe this relationship isn't meant to be, but rather is here to prepare you for the one you most deserve. Or maybe it needs a change into a new and better form and you have to let go so it can evolve naturally, perhaps the developing into something deeper and more meaningful. Maybe what you have been worried about is an obstacle to trust and intimacy placed there to help you and your partner grow and become even more connected in love. Fear not for what is being revealed is for the highest good of all. The conscious universe wants you to be happy and has much to teach you about getting in your own way. Be open to revelations you are about to experience. So that is the advice for relationships if your question is with regard to relationships. Now if it is about a job or prosperity in another way, then I'm going to give you a message now. Situations change requiring us to change too, but we like the familiarity of old patterns even when they aren't working. Now however as a potential future is revealing itself to you, you are feeling the challenge of letting go of the old and embracing the new. You have enough and you are enough but you still have some growing to do to fully embrace what is unfolding. So pay attention to what is being disclosed. Let go of your need to steer your boat and let the river of life carry you forward. Ask the conscious universe to help you be brave and enthusiastic as an unfamiliar map unfurls before you and trusts that its treasure will be all revealed when you are ready. Prosperity and abundance are your natural state and you are returning to that. Open to a new plan now. Amazon Night Spirit is calling you to tread a path that will take you away from false beliefs about your potential, so believe in yourself. Now the meditation that you can do is Meditation with the stone encourages us to explore who we are at the deepest level. It assists us in ascertaining what is true for us at the core of our being and asks us to own what we know as our truth with unshakable certainty and absolute confidence. So believe in yourself. So be creative. Go with the flow. Don't force it. Let's um, and sit quietly. Hold the stone. If you, if you can get the stone, you can get little stones from the health stop shop or stone shop, crystal shop, and you can carry it with you. So that will enhance your stress level less. Okay. So that will bring down the stress level. It will make you more conscious on what you're go trying to meditate for, your wishes coming true, to believe in yourself, know that there is uh, abundance around you, but you have to also be open to seeing it, and to give you confidence to believe in yourself. So that is awesome, but be careful what you wish for. That is the message there. Awesome. I loved it. I hope you did too and I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. I hope the squirrel 
um, I love the squirrel. I hope um, the squirrel spirit will be with you whilst you're active uh, because he's active. So make sure you do not force time, okay? Time is man made. Stay in your balance, my darling, and I love you loads. Take care and be blessed. Please share and like. Ciao, ciao.